Hello, welcome to Tech Web Dots. Today I am going to share how to convert C# -sharp data table into Excel. Okay, as you can see on the screen on the left hand side, we have a table C# -sharp data table where we have a data, right? And we have a button at the bottom which says export in Excel. Uh, on the right hand side, there is a Excel where we have converted this data using C# -sharp in Visual Studio. Okay. So let's discuss in detail. So in this session we are going to learn export C# -sharp table data to Excel sheet or you can say export ASP.NET Gate View data to Excel sheet because we can because uh, ultimately in ASP.NET Gate View also receive a data table source which is generated as a data in ASP.NET Gate View. Okay. And the third thing is how can we uh, generate a alert box a JavaScript alert alert box after the processing complete and the last thing is excel sheet downloaded in document folder okay so in this session what we are covering once uh, we will uh, click on export data so that will be automatically downloaded on the user machine document folder okay so let's start how we can do this so you will see in this we have three projects and now i have selected second project which is dotnet concept as my default project okay so the moment i will run my application so this dotnet concept project will be launched okay and in that i i have added one asp.net web form which is export in excel okay and i have designed something like i have added a asp.net grid view with a button which says export in excel okay and if you, you will see the layout of this in the source so it will look like this okay we can see we have a, a form we have a div element where we have added the grid view we have applied some uh, editor style header footer coloring okay you can just use it and uh, we have added a button just like a button we are not uh, following the best practices because in this tutorial i'm just giving you a high level demo how you can quickly convert your uh, c sharp table or asp.net grid view source table into excel sheet okay so that's the whole purpose of this video okay so there's a on click uh, method is there so let's move into the uh, code part okay okay let me move it so here we go so we can see on this page there is a button one click method and from where we are calling export table data to excel okay so one thing i would i would like to highlight here what we need to use the excel uh, after uh, exporting data this namespace is very important okay microsoft office dot in drop excel the moment you will click on this reference okay and you will find this namespace okay and just add it in your project okay so after that we can see this is a page right and uh, this is my page load so what i am doing in my page load i have just using a uh, system data or you can say the c sharp data table object okay and i have just initialized this initialize it okay and giving some data which say they, we added some uh, four columns which is doses drug patient and date and we have added some sample rows in that which says okay how many uh, doses given uh, of uh, which type of drug and what is the patient name and at what date so i have added this sample data okay and at the end what i am doing i have just used my grid view and in the data source i am applying this table okay and i am just binding this data okay that's what we have done in page load okay now we will come on the button one click from where we are calling this method so uh, uh, one more thing i would like to add here the moment you will uh, remove the back braces you will add this round brace so you can see the uh, method definition is coming which says this method exports the table data to excel sheet why this is coming this is coming because of these three forward slash okay the summary i i hope you already know why i am but i am just giving this information if you don't know okay so just adding this is a very good practice because that gives a method information 
so let's uh, deep dive into this method uh, what we have done let me just minimize it okay so uh, what we have done we have just created a string uh, with the name grid view data source exported file info we have just given some name which says c sharp data table exported to excel okay and we are using the date time now dot universal time just to get the unique file name every time okay every time we are using a uni we don't need to worry about uh, you know changing name or you know override thing that stuff and after that uh, getting a time i am just removing uh, or you can say replacing the colon with underscore because i want in that way because otherwise there can be a mismatch with other file or you know because col colon is not supported while when while you are giving a name while you are giving the file name okay actually so uh, now we have just created an object of type missing value in which we are storing missing value because for creating the excel ob uh, excel object we need this okay that's why we created so next thing we are using this intro excel application we have already imported the namespace application object we have created application visible is equal to false so what what it does the moment your excel will be generated so either you want to see that excel okay it is generating okay or you just want okay it will be, be it should be behind the scene i don't want to see that so that's why i make it false okay and now i am uh, fetching the workbook okay because workbook is our uh, you know a part of our excel uh, software in which we can add sheets okay so we are adding a workbook and now in the workbook we are getting our first item which is our worksheet okay so till then i hope it is very much clear now we are giving the sheet name it will be the sheet name you know in excel that we are giving we can set the font size as well okay now here we are creating the column name okay add column in sheet so if you will go into that we are passing the sheet uh, worksheet object and our table that we have created in the page load so if you will go into that you will see there is a uh, for loop is there which counts the total number of columns and it is just um, fetching all the you know column name from our table you can see i have just mentioned it as a temp dt temp data table and just uh, applying the loop over here and in worksheet we are adding cell okay and in data actually we are getting the column name okay i hope it is pretty much pretty much clear code to you and uh, in worksheet dot activate we are using for loop where we are uh, looping through the rows through the columns and fetching all the data from the uh, data table right that we are using and just adding that data into worksheet now we are saving the workbook okay save as we are giving the file name as a string that we have already given we are just passing this just as a normal web book right and these all are the okay and uh, just giving all the required uh, you know uh, parameter which is required for this method to call okay and we are just closing it this is the normal syntax of this uh, calling this method okay we are just calling it and uh, uh, quitting this application so that it will be closed automatically and now at the end we are using the page for calling the client script and the calling this method register startup script okay in this we are providing its type we are giving the script name and we are writing the script what we want to show are now we are saying data file exported with the file name okay and we have given the file name here okay available under your system libraries and documents okay so this is the syntax that we are using now we can see in the else part we are saying there is no uh, data alert box and if there is a blank data then we can display this message there are no records to download okay okay so uh, we have already gone through the code so let's start our application just just hit the google chrome uh, start button at the top okay it's uh, building our project so let's wait for it okay now we can see our page is successfully loaded okay 
This is our grid view, which is showing all the data that we have created in the C sharp code, which is doses, drug, patient, and date. Okay. Now, the moment I will click on Excel in uh, export in Excel, so what should happen? There should be an Excel sheet will be, which will be downloaded on my machine. Okay, and which will display this data as it is. Okay. So let me check uh, my uh, document folder as there is any file or not. Okay. There is no such file. Okay. Now I am click on export in Excel. Okay. Now it's processing my request. Now we got the message here. Okay, data file exported with name. This is the name of my file available under your system libraries or document. So let's check over there. Either the file is created or not. Okay, yes, the file is created. Time is same, which is exactly okay. Let me open this file just for you. Okay, yes. The same data is generated in this Excel sheet. Okay, and the name is given C sharp data table exported to Excel. Okay. So uh, one more thing I would like to add. This concept you can apply either you are working on uh, ASP.NET MVC, either you are working on ASP.NET Core, either you are working on ASP.NET Web Form application, or you are either you are working in VB language. So you can apply this piece of code anywhere, right? Except the except the few things which are dependent on Web Form. Other than other than that, this piece of code you can use it anywhere. Okay. I have uploaded this piece of code for you on my blog. So if you need that code, uh, you can get it from my blog. I will uh, mention the blog uh, detail in the description of this video. Okay. You can get the whole design from there. Okay. And uh, you can get the code that I have used in this tutorial. Okay. I hope you like my video. If you have question, please leave a comment. I will reply on that as soon as possible. Okay. And don't forget to watch my next video, which will be on how can we add filter dynamically on the Excel sheet when we are converting from C sharp data table to Excel sheet. Okay. Because a uh, filter is a very important part that we can apply and that gives more beauty to the Excel sheet. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.